Hey there colleagues, here is a fun new tip for you. So when you're in your email, it looks similar to this. However, if you take your finger on one of your email messages and just slide it over to the right until you get it like this, then you can let go and it will split the screen. Or if you get it like this, it will put your email message just in its own little box. A smaller box but I'm gonna choose this one where it's a split screen and then you can choose to change the size of your split screen by sliding your finger and putting it um, putting it right on the gray spot right here in the black line and sliding it So another thing you can do here is, when you're in here, so say you want to look and read someone's message while you're composing another email, this is how that would be handy. So now I have the split screen and I'm gonna tap right down here and choose to write an email. So now the email that I'm composing is right next to the one that I'm reading and I can slide up to read it and then I could also, you know, slide up for typing as well on my me new message. Another thing you can do, in case if you don't know how to do this, is you take your two fingers, uh, your take your thumb and your pointer finger on the keyboard and push out and split it apart. You'll split the keyboard. And then you can actually see a little better. And if you're used to texting with your thumbs, then this is also a good way to use the keyboard. To bring the keyboard back, you just take two fingers and pull it together. And to finish, so after I've composed and I've, I'm done looking at the email that I split out, I can click the done button and that will go away and then I'm, not, I'm still here on my message, or I could have sent it, but I didn't write anything to send it. If you have any questions, as always, reach out to me. I love to help.